topic is all about word problems involving sets with the use of Venn diagrams. At the end of the video, you should be able to solve word problems involving sets with the use of Venn diagrams. Please like and share to Mom Desma tutorials. Hit the notification bell button to alert you for our beach latest video lesson. There are terms to remember in solving word problems involving Venn diagram. First, for the intersection, we have the word end, all three. Next, union. The word is or. Complement. For the complement, we have neither nor, neither, but not. And for the last, difference, we have the words but not and only. Illustrative example one. 60 students of grade 7 charity were asked if they have pet animals at home. 40 of the students have dogs and 35 have cats. So the universal set, we have 60. 60 meaning uh, the students in grade 7 charity. And then 40, number of students with pet dogs. And 35, number of students with uh, pet cats. So look at the... Venn diagram at the right. So again, first, we'll draw rectangle. Then label it with U, meaning for universal set. And then the first circle is for the set of dogs and for the second circle, for the set of cats. Now, how are we going to solve? Okay, if we are going to, fight to find the number of cats only, you are going to subtract 60 minus 40 equals 20. So again, yung 60 is our universal set. Yung 40 is the number of dogs. And then we can have 20 for the number of cats only. Ayan. So for, on our Venn diagram, we have 20 at the right. Okay, next. So, it is in the set of cat. Next, dog only. Paano makuha ang number of dogs only? Isubtract uli ang 60. 60 minus 35. Yung 35 natin, yun po yung number of cats. And then, the answer is 25. So, 25 yung students na may pet dogs. So, saan po natin ilalagay? We have to put it on the left side. Okay. Next, paano naman makuha yung intersection nila? Okay. Or, both have cats and dogs. So, isubtract mo uli yung 60. Isubtract ng 20. Saan galing yung 20? Dito po, sa cat only. And then, subtract by 25 sa number of dogs galing yung 25 and then we have 15 so yung 15 po natin ibig sabihin meron silang pet na dog meron din silang pet na cat okay so an po ilalagay so ilalagay natin ito sa intersection okay now let us answer the question how many students have dogs only? So, from the Venn diagram, makikita po natin kung ilan yung students na may dog pet only. Okay, so we have 25. Letter B, how many students own cats only? So, ilan daw yung may uh, pet cats only? So, on the right side, ayan, on the right part of the circle. We have 20. Next. How many students have both pets? Animals. So, ilan daw yung may parehong dog, meron ding cat. Okay. So, for the intersection, we have 15. For the next problem, 
a group of 25 grade 7 students were asked whether they use either Facebook or Instagram or both. 15 of these students use Facebook and 12 use Instagram. How many use Facebook only? How many use Instagram only? How many use both networking sites? So, para po makuha natin, let us have these solutions. So, first column, given. Second column, steps. And the last column is the illustration. So, una, there are 25 grade 7 students surveyed. So, yun po yung given natin kanina. And then, 15 students use Facebook. And then, 12 students use Instagram. So, you have to make a two-way Venn diagram. Bakit? Kasi there are two sets. So, dalawang circle po ang drawing natin sa isang rectangle. Ayan. Look at the illustration. So, again, may label po tayo na U, meaning universal set. And then, yung first circle natin ay for the Facebook. And for the second circle is for the Instagram. Okay, next. There are 12 views Instagram. So, ilan po ang gumagamit ng Instagram? So, we have 12. So, subtract the number of students surveyed by the number of students use Instagram to find the number of students who use Facebook only. Ayan. So, 25 kasi yung students. And then, ang gumagamit po ng Instagram ay 12. Therefore, ang answer nun kapag minus natin ay 13. And this is the number of students use Facebook. Now, saan po natin ilalagay yung 13? Okay. So, dito po sa left part of your uh, Venn diagram. So, sa under Facebook. Set of Facebook. Next, there are 15 use Facebook. So, 15 po ang gumagamit ng Facebook. What will you do? Subtract the number of students surveyed by the number of students use Facebook to find the number of students who use Instagram only. So, again, 25 yung students. 15 yung gumagamit ng Facebook. Uh, if you minus, 25 minus 15 equals 10. So, 10 yung gumagamit ng Instagram only. Saan po natin ilalagay? Okay. So, dun po sa uh, right circle or under the set of Instagram. Next. There are 15 use Facebook and 12 use Instagram. To find the number of students who use both Facebook and Instagram, subtract the number of students surveyed by some of students use Facebook only and use Instagram only. So, 25 minus, you are going to add 13 plus 10. Okay? So, yung 13, sila yung gumagamit ng Facebook only and then 10, yung gumagamit ng Instagram only. 25 minus 23 equals 2. Ayan. So, yung 2 na yun, sila po yung gumagamit both Facebook and Instagram. So, saan po natin ilalagay ito? Ayan. So, we will put 2 in the intersection of the Venn diagram. So, doon sa gitna. Ayan. Ito po yan. Okay. So, let us use the Venn diagram to answer these questions. A. How many use Facebook only? So, look at the Venn diagram. So, as you can see, there are 13 students use Facebook only. Next, how many use Instagram only? Okay, so look for this Venn diagram again. Under the Instagram, we have 10. Next, number letter C. How many use both Networking site. So, ilan yung gumagamit ng dalawang networking site? See, on the intersection, we have two. Activity 1. Let us solve the following problems. Use Venn diagram to help you. A survey was conducted with 60 students on the sports they like to play. The results were shown in the Venn diagram 
at the right. Let u equals all students. B equals students who like badminton. And set B students who like volleyball. And T students who like table tennis. Find the number of students. For question letter A. So, how many students like badminton only? So, from our Venn diagram, we have three circles, meaning three sets. Uh, set B who like badminton, set B who like volleyball, and set T who like table tennis. So, ang question po natin na una ay, ilan daw sudyante ang gusto lang maglaro ng badminton? So, ito po yun, 14. Kasi, ang part na ito ay mga intersection ng other two sets. Okay, next letter B. How many students like volleyball only? So, ito po yung set uh, V. Ayan. So, the answer is 10. So, 10 students who like volleyball only. Next. How many students like badminton and volleyball? So, ilan daw ang may gusto ng badminton at volleyball? From our previous discussion, we mentioned the word end. And end referring to the intersection. Meaning, intersection ng badminton and then volleyball. So, meron po tayong 9 at saka 8. So, get the total. So, we have 17. How many students like volleyball or table tennis? Okay. The word is or, or referring to union, meaning you have to combine all the elements uh, from volleyball and then from table tennis. So, lahat po yan, i-add natin. So, ang matitira lang dito ay yung 10. So, ang sagot po natin ay 44. Okay. How many students like all sports? So, ilan daw yung students na gusto lahat yung tatlo? So, we have... The intersection of the three sets, so tingnan pong maigi, so ayan, so we have 8. And then letter F, how many students do not like any of the three sets? Okay, so again, how many students do not like any of the three sports? Ayan, so yung 2 dito po sa labas ng mga circles, ibig sabihin, uh, hindi po nila gustong maglaro ng tatlong sports na to. So, doon lang siya ilalagay sa labas ng circuit. Kasi, siya po ay part ng universal set. Pero, hindi siya kasali or hindi siya kabilang doon sa tatlong sports. Okay? So, ang sagot po natin ay 2. And, Gabriel interviewed 50 students of Pasita Complex National High School ages 12 to 15 years old on the vaccine preference against COVID-19 virus. The results were as follows. 35 prefer Pfizer, 20 prefer Moderna, and 12 prefer both Pfizer and Moderna. So here are the questions. How many students prefer Pfizer only, how many students prefer Moderna only, and C, how many students prefer Pfizer or Moderna. Okay, so at the right, you can see our Venn diagram. So, label it again. So, yung U as for universal set, and then first circle for the Pfizer, and then second circle for the Moderna. So, paano po natin sasagutan yung question letter A? Ilan daw yung students na gustong ang um, vaccination na Pfizer only? So, sabi po dito, uh, there are 50 students. So, sabi po dito, 35 prefer Pfizer and 20 prefer Moderna and 12 yung dalawa. O gusto nila yung dalawa. Okay. So, here is our solution. So, 35 Minus 12 is equal to 23. Okay? So, bakit po 35 minus 12? Kasi, given na dito yung intersection natin na 12. Okay? So, yung 35, ayan. So, yung prefer ng Pfizer, then i-minus mo sa 12. So, 23. Next, 
how many students prefer Moderna only? So, sabi po dito, 20 uh, prefer Moderna. So, 20 minus 12, we have 8. Okay? So, 8 po yun, yung students who prefer Moderna only. So, saan po ilalagay? Sa right side po. Okay? So, in the set of Moderna. Ayan. So, we have 8. Next, letter C. How many students prefer Pfizer or Moderna? Okay? How many students prefer Pfizer or Moderna? So, ano pong gagawin natin? Ayan. Since it mentioned here, or... It means the union, so you will add 23 plus 12 plus 8 equals 43. Okay? So, ito po yung number of students who prefer Pfizer or Moderna. So, 43. Now, bakit po 7 yung nasa labas ng dalawang circle? Okay? So, just subtract 50 minus 43, we have 7. Okay? Thank you for watching.